Hi guys, this is Marcus. Okay, so this is the new brass soldering tip that we made. They, they soldered extremely well. You can see my other soldering videos. So for now, on, all my soldering, it's gonna be uh, using brass or pure copper soldering tip. These are the cheap uh, Chinese iron. They use an iron tip. So you, could, you could buy from China. This is the AU. And this is another AU soldering iron tip. They're pretty much the same. Uh, they all are iron based. So what you can do is you ha this is the magnet I pull off on one of the uh, laptop hard drive. So for iron, obviously you know it's ferric metal, so it suck up to magnets. If you use brass or copper, like this is pure brass, it's not magnetic. Copper is also not ferrous magnetic. So it won't stick or adhere to the magnet. Okay, so these are the new product we have. Uh, we made these by hand at the moment. They are incredibly difficult to make. The good news is because we make these by hand, um, we can make it really pointy. So these are very good for a PC connector soldering. And uh, any detail rework stuff that's like require really fine pitch soldering. Uh, traditional iron tip for one thing it doesn't soak or solder very well. Second, um, well it's just junk basically for micro soldering. And for copper, uh, if you use brass and copper it's much better for micro soldering. However if you do like solder big connection like capacitors or whatnot um, you better off sticking with traditional soldering iron tip because uh, they the brass and copper does worn out faster. But doing micro solder, you could still use it. I I bet you could use this for months without. Well, you still need to sharpen it. That's the thing. But these once this coating, there's a little bit tin coating here. Once that worn out, this is like a uh, electroplated. Once that worn out, this soldering iron just junk. It doesn't stick to anything. Except for magnets. Uh, tin wouldn't stick to iron very well. Tin, however, does, you know, as you know, it stick to copper and brass. Um, brass tips. These are brass tips. I will be manufacturing the copper tip as soon. Um, we're selling this on, on our website. Uh, they're a little bit pricey at the moment because it's incredibly, incredibly time consuming and difficult to make to this particular shape. In order to fit into the the high, in order to fit the Haiku model um, 900 series, because since all the copies that they have, like AU is a copy of Haiku, um, they use the 900 series for the soldering tip. So these will model and um, target to be exact fit for the Haiku series. As a result, incredibly, incredibly difficult to make. Um, it's, it's almost as if making jewelry. It has, everything has to be precise, otherwise it wouldn't fit in uh, this holster right. So they are a little bit pricey at the moment. Copper and brass are not cheap. And mostly, it's not the price of the metal. It's really how difficult it is to make it. But it works. Um, you can see my other video that how to solder with uh, copper tip. Like this part, it, it just turns right away and it retains solder just incredibly well. It's it's really helpful for micro soldering. Again, it's really this is really target and design for micro soldering, not so much for like big soldering. If you're soldering a TV, like you know, like a like a really big old fashioned, maybe from like the eighties or whatever, seventies circuit board or just like big solder then stick with these iron tips, otherwise use copper or brass. Again, this is how you tell if you get a copper or brass metal, iron, stick to magnet. Copper, brass, doesn't stick to magnet. Alright, so thank you, thank you for watching and watch my other video using the soldering um, iron with copper, and, well this is brass, with uh, brass and copper soldering tip. And see how you're working real action. And thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.